Someone's shooting at us! Well, if they weren't, we wouldn't be at AK-47 Stadium here in Hexon, Texas. Bring your body armor to the stadium or wear a body bag for the ride home in the hearse. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Crux and Skull Jugulars battle the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseshit buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. lateral to his teammate we're talking street ball here bricks and he is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom first down and it's first and ten tired of the quarterback's tight spirals at mag <laughs> oh, wow if you're a defender the only good qb is a dead one bricks oh, he must be pretty good then because he is dead First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh man, the offense called a murder ball. It's a little on the nose, don't you? Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. First and ten. Well, the ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. And they stack the line and he gets. 
watch this bell run for a yard. Third down and eight. First and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. One, two. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense. Oh, man, he really wants it. Boom. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. Second down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. And he's running like a moose right now. And that's a catch for a ten-yard gain. Third and two. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Welcome to the Great Rage. How can I help? And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. To the races. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. And that's a pick six for the defense and a possible electrocution for the quarterback. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? they just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's 
first and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. He picks up a two. Third down and eight. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carried. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. And these guys are some high rollers, and they just won the pot. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly i thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose instead they're in a dead heat tie game at the end of one second down and more than the qb would like I don't know whose eyes the QB... And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well played... And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know. I hate those zebra men. <laughs> Second and three. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and three. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I'm going to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down and six. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Looks like
like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make a pay. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to... And the offense has only two running backs left and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcome. First down and one. Oh. 
Second down and five. And he picks up maybe four on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. He turned into a mutant fire. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a crazy turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. <laughs> Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. And there, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. <laughs> and it's first and ten. is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller second down and ten hot, hot one hot two hot, hot, hot. now the offense is getting kills this is really a violent game guys <laughs> is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburn. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Kishan did. He's coming out in the field now. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. gets another pick. Man, rough it. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust.
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's magic spitting time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gun. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception. Return at the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. Big or small, they're both great. Except for when they're lopsided. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish they could. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? You can't keep a good mutant down. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. One, hot two, three. Defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score.
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he throws that one to the sidelines. Second down and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. forever and with another pick the QB says I don't know oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit yeah, it sounds like my off season the offense is down to their last two linemen once they're gone it's game over yeah who cares linemen suck they don't even deliver any fantasy points they make 
Spent two years in the league and then to become bouncers at biker bars. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that's another turnover for the defense. He refuses to go down. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. And he was stuck to him like glue. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Third down and never going to happen. to the races. <laughs> and it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker? I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He could go all the way. It's a touchdown! What in the fuck am I watching? Hey, wasn't this guy in a Wages all male dance from you before he signed? Yeah, they were called Nuts and Bolts. His stage name was Vice Grip. Okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The kicker just ended up in a meat wagon. 
They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third and four. Should have no doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. He was. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack the pants. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? You no, know, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And another interception. This quarter. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Drex. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Drex. You're an idiot. Boom! Ah, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. It was bloody enough for the meat. The Hexon Oilers got it done today. They win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...